Welcome to my studio. Thanks for dropping by. In today's video, I will be walking you through the process of how I completed a landscape painting using acrylics. If you are new to the channel and enjoy this video, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. First off, this canvas was huge. It measured 48 inches wide by 24 inches tall. I love working big, but wow, was this the biggest piece I ever worked on and completed that wasn't on a wall. That in itself was an accomplishment. I chose this concept as I like the overall feel of the piece and the colors are perfect for my dining room. I began by first coating the canvas with yellow acrylic paint. I then used other yellows, ochres, rusts, greens, and whites to create the misty appearance. Since acrylics dry quickly, I like to pick up a bit of matte medium to help spread the paint a bit more evenly by increasing the viscosity just a little bit. It helps to blend the colors a bit and to create a smooth gradient as well. As you watch me work, you will also find that I like to mix my colors on the canvas versus my palette. I tend to do this in just about any medium I work with most of the time, but there are instances where I blend on the palette first when I need a very specific color for basing or blending. Since I was working so large, it was also important that I use a larger brush to spread my paint for the background and blending in the initial stages. This helps to get those smooth blends and ensures that your paint will stay wet long enough to be able to work the areas. Other ways to keep your paint moist longer is by using mediums that extend the open time of your paint, meaning it doesn't dry as fast. You can also mist with a bit of water, but be sure it is a thin mist and not big puddles as this will affect your final piece and leave water spots or puddling in some cases. If you find that your palette is drying out, you can also mist it with a bit of water or use a wet palette. Both are great options. I tend to lean towards the wet palette over the spray, but it is personal preference to how you work. Another great feature about a wet palette is you can cover it and save your paint for the next day for larger projects. In fact, I have used the same wet palette for well over a week. So with proper care, it works very well. It will start to smell after a bit, so be sure to listen to your nose and change it out since this is an indication of mold starting to grow in your palette. I decided early on that I was going to wrap my painting around the edges. If you decide to do that, it's a good idea to create your gradients and subjects around the painting as you are working instead of waiting to the end for a more seamless painting. After I completed the background, I switched to a smaller brush and roughly sketched in where I wanted the distant trees. I then used a bit of white to create a mist that appears to go through the trees. Once that was completed, I started working on the foreground putting in trees in various sizes and shapes of my trunks. Though they may look black, it is actually a black and dark brown mixture that I'm using, so I could have more of a two-tone appearance and room for some shadows. I use size and girth to help establish a perspective in this piece. The further away the trees, the smaller the trunks, and the more canopy you can see. The closer the trees, the thicker the trunks, and less of the canopy that is visible. The same can be said also with the saturation of the paint. The farther away, the less saturated they are. So I use more of a lighter brown, and the closer they are is more of the darker black brown appearance. I then use the sea sponge for the texture of the bushes and trees. This method is a great way to get a lot of texture quickly, and it works well with the feel I was trying to achieve. I worked the different areas making adjustments throughout from the mist to the ground texture and various trees until I achieved the final look I was happy with. What are some of your favorite tips, techniques, or shortcuts you use with acrylic paints? I would love to hear about them in the comments below. I'm Wendy O'Brien. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep on arting. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the painting.
Never thought it would be so hard I grew up without a scar Just living my life with no big worries And I've always known what I want Just didn't know what came along Finding myself a much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gives them right I wanna stay wide open ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna stay wide open Can't stand to hear more today I'm gonna lock my door and stay Inside a way until I'm safe again I have nothing more to put on I'm defeated and withdrawn Just trying to understand where it went wrong Always believe that nothing good in life is free But it's overwhelming how people can help
Come.